Today we're going to use an air hammer to take a hub off of a shaft. Our friend Mark's going to use an air hammer. Um, we chose a, a blunt tip in the air hammer. Now he's screwing the, the bolt back into the end of the shaft to prevent the air hammer from marring the, the end of the shaft and, and making it have to replace it. Put the pry bar behind the, the hub you're trying to pull, put good pressure on it, and start buzzing against that end of the shaft. Now in retrospect, Mark and I agree we should have used a tapered tip rather than the blunt tip we got. A tapered tip would have dug into the bolt head and it wouldn't bounce around sideways as much. I was trying to save the bolt, so I used that blunt tip. Um, another thing that this shows is if you buy an air hammer, Make sure you get one that's got a variable speed trigger. You'll notice it marks feathering the, the speed of the, the air hammer. And uh, cheaper air hammers will have a, a on-off trigger, whereas a better quality air hammer will have a variable speed trigger and you can kind of ease into your, your work and don't have to worry about it just going full bore all the time. He took the washer off the bolt so that the bolt will fit down inside now that he's got the, the hub started to come off and here in just a little bit he'll go to town on it. Once the bolt is down inside the hole of the hub, the bore of the hub, then he can lean into it pretty hard and, and it'll come off pretty quick. You notice that Mark's got safety glasses on. That's always a great idea anytime you're using an air hammer. Now he's got it down inside so it can't stance off sideways. The, the bit of the air hammer is inside the bore of the, the hub. And it's loose enough now so he can work it off with his hands in the pry bar. Once he gets it off, you'll notice the reason that it was so nice to use the air hammer is because it's a real long pull with uh, a key in the shaft and it makes it really difficult to pull could have used a, a wheel puller, get it on there, and it would, it would have taken a lot of wrenching and stuff, and the hub's off. Now we're going to use that same air hammer with a different bit to take the lock collar off that shaft. Got an Allen wrench, going to loosen the set screw, and normally after you get done you'd have to take a hammer and a punch, find the punch hole, and then knock the lock collar against rotation to loosen it up all the eccentric on the bearing. We're going to put a tapered bit in the air hammer and pop that lock collar off super quick. Notice that he keeps the air hose unhooked before he changes bits. It pre prevents the accident of the gun accidentally buzzing in his hand and pinching his fingers while he's changing bits. That's the tapered bit we probably should have used when we took that hub off. It bites into the end of the, the bolt and wouldn't have danced around as much. But he's putting it in the punch hole, one buzz from the trigger, and the lock collar's loose. If you've ever pounded and pounded and tried to hold a shaft while you got a lock collar loose, this is the quick way to do it.